Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement as I'm finally getting the opportunity to head back to 1923 where we have left off on a humdinger of a cliffhanger. It reminded me of when I was a kid and the old dramas like Falcon Crest and Dynasty and West Wing where someone came and mowed a bunch of people down and the big question was, who lives, who dies? We know John's dead. John, we hardly knew ya. Elizabeth, questionable. Emma does not look well. She might not have been shot in the ambush, but she don't look too good. And then we have Jacob. Now Harrison Ford is the star of the show. Yes, but I would not put it past the sometimes balls to the wall wackiness that is Yellowstone for them to take out Harrison Ford in episode three. Yeah. Yeah, yes. So I'm excited to jump right back to it and I'm so glad that you are with me as well for this adventure. So you're going to remember that full episode watch along is available on Patreon where I would love to see you. I've got my big cozy blanket. I have um, lemonade today because I celebrated my birthday a little too hard yesterday. And for some reason, lemonade sounds really good when you're um, hungover. That's just me. Okay, so uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks for being with me y'all and let's get to it. And we are just diving right into the title sequence. Timothy Dalton. Timothy Dalton is appearing. Hmm. What's Mr. Bond up to? Whose hand is that? Why am I having a brain freeze? And I can't remember if that's what the Yellowstone house looks like from the outside in modern times. It's very close. <laughs> that cry could mean so many things. In my pocket, let her take it. Well, this will take months to get there, ma'am. We should send a wire. Can't send a wire. Because it will let people know. Because then the world will know. We will ignore that this has happened. Ma'am, I need to get the sheriff. Jacob said no sheriff. I know what he said, but he's... No sheriff, no posse. The Livestock Association meets twice a month. When he don't show, they know anyway. That is true. I'll go in his place. So still not a confirmation if Jacob is out. You didn't ask how he was doing. Or just down, okay. He survived the night. He survived the night, thank you. Now we just have to focus on the next night. Hope's a dangerous thing, ma'am. It's best to say goodbye to him while you still can. Mm, I think Kara's gonna fight that. Because I was wondering, you can say we're not going to talk about this incident. Although I think, uh, who's he, what's abandoned is flapping his gums. Is Emma still in the wagon? Emma's still in the wagon! Emma's still in the wagon. Where's the team? Well, we turned them out. Bring them back. Where are you going, Pongin? What's she doing? Don't know. <gasps> oh, okay. Couldn't tell what she had there for no, a second. I don't know what she's doing. Well, they all have shovels already on them. Is that standard to have on your on your pack is, is, a, is a shovel? Well, there's Margaret. That Margaret and James and Elsa right there. Does my mother know? We've sent for her. Don't like this fever. The doctor said no aspirin. Because? 
I'll get some water. No, you, you don't need to be carrying anything. Well, I got one good arm. Now, is Jack questioning whether he should marry her? Where their lives are in danger at the moment? Is he blaming his uncle? So many things, so many things behind those eyes. <laughs> now, Spencer, was he really on his way home? With his soon-to-be bride, already bride, insta-love bride. Ah, uh, no, it does not appear he's on his way home. I think, at the moment. Why does no one speak of this Africa? Because they don't know it exists. And we ain't gonna tell them. I much prefer it to leopards and lions. Speaking of, I saw today... I don't know how 100% true it is or not, but apparently there was some safari in Africa that a uh, bull elephant charged the car and flipped the car and killed someone. So it's still, still happening. It's still happening out there. I, I don't think she's wearing sunscreen. And I'm just seeing... Melanoma <laughs> in this rather romantic adventure. I see skin cancer. <laughs> Promise me. No promises. It will always be this. No promises. Always an adventure. It'll never be dull. I can promise you that. Even when we're old and frail, and all the ravaging is behind us, what then? Are they going to make it till they're old and frail? The odds are not in their favor. <laughs> What's snatching her from the water? What is going to snatch her from the water? Yes, the war about nothing that cost us everything. What did it cost you? My brother. What did it cost you? My soul, I think. I'm getting that back. Never wow, this, um, me. it's giving me, it's making me a little motion sick. Look how well my plan is working. I'm so pleased with myself. I'll have you wrapped around my finger in no time. Uh, uh, you're with him now. Accomplished days ago. I can't believe how seasick I was getting just then. We need to leave the state. We're not going anywhere. Man, are they going to put together a fucking army? Let me think. Mm. We'll build a bigger army. Hell, there's only three of us left. <laughs> what runs the state? Gold runs the state. And silver. We don't need to build an army. We can borrow one. Why? What's it going to be in these miners' best interest? Because I think to outright murder a family just to get their land. Oh, here's Mr. Dalton. Jake Dustman was dead. Dead how? I murdered Does him. Does it matter how? <laughs> it matters to the law. His nephew running the ranch now? Mm -hmm. Nephew's dead and all. What Dutton is running the ranch? The women run it. Which is to say nobody runs it. Mm. In six months, I'll run it. How? I'll lease you the mineral rights, if you want them. Let's talk price. We'll talk price in six months, when you run it. Killing a king doesn't make you a king, it makes you an assassin. And I never heard of an assassin running anything. It's not yours to offer. I can own it. Then why don't you? Because you don't have the money to buy it, and you don't have the men to take it. So which do you want? The money or the men? Ooh. I don't care which. I'll give you the money. 
I mine where I choose, and the lease already paid. And you run your sheep where you want. The mountains are mine. Deal. Uh, this does not sound like it's going to be in your favor because you're not going to be around to take part in it. Know this, Banner. Kill and be killed. If you lie to me, if you steal from me, I won't just kill you. I'll kill your wife. I will skin her alive and I will bury your children in her fucking hide. Mm -hmm. Understood. Give him the funds for it. He just made a deal with the devil, didn't he? And we're not talking the good devil. Mm -hmm. Can it kill the cattle? Who's who's up watching the cattle right now? Nobody? Some of these cattle have different plans. We just taking Yellowstone cattle. We're taking them all. Oh, they're starting, I may should say, full out warfare. <gasps> oh, they killed the fellas that were up there. Where is she? She's upstairs. Take me to her. Oh. Yeah, mom's pissed. What did the doctor say about travel? Well, he didn't mention travel, but I'll, I'll send for a motor car. We'll get you to Livingston and then on the train. The train to where? Boston. To a hospital. This is no place to recover. This is no place to be at all. What about the wedding? What wedding? <laughs> My wedding. Mm -hmm. They killed your wedding when they killed your father, sweetheart. Or her father died too. If you still wish to have her hand, I suggest you pack your things. Any reason I have for living in this godless place is dead. Well, no disrespect, Miss Trapper. I ain't marrying you. Jack. <laughs> I'll discipline my own nephew. Thank you very much. <laughs> Here is you have plenty to discuss. So if Elizabeth's dad is gone, who takes over Elizabeth's dad's ranch? This is your home now, if you choose it. I choose it. Well, that was quick, okay. I suppose you don't have much to discuss <laughs> after all. The girl wishes to stay. Marry my nephew and start her life here. I will not allow it. Good luck that with that, Pumpkin. That is not your decision to make. I will send a car. Okay. It will be turned away at the gate. She is my daughter. You have no right. You have no right to decide her fate. That is my right and my right alone. She is free to leave, but you are not free to take her. This is not the Stratford Ranch. This is the Yellowstone, and you have no rights here. That was very diplomatic for Kara. Firm, compassionate, firm. And another calamity arrives. Mm -hmm. Cattle in the East Camp are gone. Gone? There's horse tracks leading east. They'll take them to Wyoming, have them on a train by nightfall. They attack us on the field. Now they steal our cattle. Either we take this fight to them or it's coming to us. I need a moment. We ain't got a moment. I need a moment to think. Don't move. What would you do? Oh. What would he do? Guide me, Mother Mary, guide me. We have no leader. You'd be the leader. Oh, he is awake. But cattle aren't worth another life. It's only lives we can't afford to lose. No fighting until Spencer gets here. <laughs> then the man with PTSD let him do all the fighting? I had abandoned all hope for you. Well, the day's still young. We let the cattle go. It's not worth the risk. It's not your decision to make. He wants to speak with you. I've put... 
Wolves on the heifers on their way seven hundred. They'll take care of the bank. And when you don't show to the livestock conference, they're all coming. Send her. She'll say I'm in Wyoming hunting thieves. Ooh, look what they gave him an opportunity. Send word to Spencer. Could take a year for him to get back here, Jake. Oh, a year. A year. A how long we got to hold out. A year. I refuse to hope. I refuse it. Oh, she's hoping anyway. Gone are the days of following the buff. I was wondering what was happening with Tiona. Their feces. Heavens, girl, the fruit will rot on the vine at this rate. It's the thorns. Jesus wore a crown of thorns and no complaint left his lips. I'm not Jesus. Uh, no, you're not. Stop leaving the fruit in the middle. Jeez. Uh, Stop worrying about the thorns and worry about me. Uh, uh, oh, there she goes again. <laughs> she go oh, they hit her in the face with a shovel? With a shovel. Nobody is learning anything in this establishment. You are a savage, vile reminder of how your people lived. Far from the shadow god. No better than a wolf pack. And like the wolf, you must become a dog. I'm trying to save you, child. From that most heinous enemy, you must be bathed in the blood to be saved. Oh, this sounds terrible. You must want to be saved. Do you want it? I think she's giving you her answer several times over. I don't want anything you have. Do you want to be saved? No, I don't. She just the devil in her. <laughs> So they're just gonna beat her to death, and I guess is the their answer. Oh, oh not to worry. Oh, I have more. Okay, okay, okay. Save me. Until I get free to kill you, is the finishing sentence in her head. The old servants. <sighs> they're gonna cut her hair. Was cast into the pool of fire and brimstone. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna rub her raw. Oh. <laughs> this is not how you win someone to your side. That's right, she's plotting her revenge. Because I would be too. Here she goes. She's not gonna do this like war paint, is she? Oh, she's going on a hunt. She's going on a hunt. War is coming from all sides. You're leaving. Come with me. They'll find us. Put us in jail. That was what I thought was. If she went away, would they bring her back? But no, I guess they would just put her in jail. We're so dumb. Interesting. I'm taking her Bible. Sister Mary will keep me silly. No, she won't. Because I'm going to burn all the Bibles. She gonna leave with a parting gift? Yes, she is! Very powerful sentence. No, but do I understand it? Yes. 
What you doing? If all the fellows are with her, who's watching the ranch? Cattle thieves. That plague upon Montana's ranch has struck our ranch as well. So my husband has taken to Wyoming in search of the cattle, many of which belong to other members of this association. You, Mr. Brewster. It also appears that these thieves are murderers, killing Bob Strafford in cold blood. It is time this agency has the authority to make arrests. Oh, this is how the commission got to be a little bit more police-like. Oh. I will ask members of this association to vote for the creation of a police force, as my husband has asked the governor to grant the authority I have just stated. All in favor, say aye. I don't have the authority to ask for a vote before the members. Why not? Can you attest to that being the signature of Jacob Dutton? I can. All those in favor, say aye. aye. Oh. All opposed? Yeah. Oh, those who are guilty. <laughs> Dues will increase $27 per annum for officers' Ooh. salaries and supplies. Meeting is adjourned. We will convene again in one month. Wow, look at her. Thanks. One month, I say. Meeting is adjourned. Well, look at you go, Kara. So who's going to head up this force and put it together and deputize deputies? I thought of it on the way over. Well, how'd you get him to sign it? I signed it. <laughs> well, keep going. You're still out in public. You're a fucking liar, woman. How? I'll kill you where you fucking stand. A liar. Aye. You're a murderer. <gasps> when my charade is over, so are you. Your fight is with me now. I kill much slower. You don't have the army for this fight. Or the money. I have both. Oh, well, why I would you? I wait for you to meet my nephew. The boy doesn't impress. Not that one. So does Spencer have a reputation on Montana? Okay, these two, we've got to get them, we got to get their story going because this is lagging now. It is lagging. Spencer? He doesn't open them? Cara Dutton. My aunt. Why won't you read them? Why won't you read that? Hard to explain. Try. War's not living. If insanity was a thing you could touch, that's what war is. Missing home and dreaming has killed more soldiers. You want to eat a Bolton battle, you start wishing for a letter. I credit not reading them for keeping me alive. So why did you keep them? Then the war's over and I got, got two years worth of it. And I just felt guilty. I'm a very jealous lover. I will not share you with your demons. Ooh. So I must find them and chase them all away. So you're gonna read them or burn them? Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> Come on. Where are they? Whose abode is this? Because I don't think Spencer's hunting right now. That's what we're gonna do. We should do it in order. So is this when we find out that the timelines we have been a year ahead? And when they get to the last one, that's the one that says everyone's dead. News of the German Spring Offensive has reached our little valley in Montana. The Brigadier General writes of your bravery, of your unflinching resolve. And as Spencer travels from location to location, how do the letters find him, I wonder? I wait desperately for that boy to return. And I pray you bring that beautiful smile with you 
It is my sunrise, and I miss it with all my heart. I'm sorry, I didn't... I didn't know she would be such a good writer. Read the next one. <laughs> I can't wait to read it. Oh, he's a little tornado. Mm, runs in the family, I see. <laughs> Our children are going to be absolutely mad. We mm. should consider adopting. Are they going to live long enough to have children? I doubt that. I doubt that. The baby did not survive. Oh, which baby? Whose baby? Emma was shattered. Oh, Emma. But John stayed by her side all day. She's too old to try again. Mm -hmm. Is this the one? How long has he been sitting on this letter? Has he been sitting on this letter? Your brother has been killed. I suppose your uncle has been killed as well. How long has he been sitting on it? You must come home and find this one. How long did he sit on that letter? Of the letter, when was it written? Three months ago. Three months ago. Was that the last letter, though? How long would he have sat on that letter? Well, the letter was written three months prior. How long did it take it to get there? Uncertain. So it wasn't necessarily that much longer, but holy hell. Holy hell. Okay, so this whole... Jacob is the only thing essentially keeping people from descending on this ranch and is taking the parts. But then whoever comes and descends to take the parts, they're still going to fight with each other over the parts that they want. The war is never ending. It is never ending. Banner, dude, if you think... Timothy Dalton's gonna allow you to have that. No, he will have you do the dirty work and then he's gonna swoop in and steal it because that's how it works. You have nothing. If I was his wife, I'd be gone. I would see all this and go, no, we are collateral damage waiting to happen. I'm out. I would be out. I would be out. My brain is ping-ponging. So do we have, at this time, is the brand a thing with Yellowstone? I don't know, but I do find it interesting that this is where we got the Livestock Commission as being a police force. Fascinating. That's all Kara's doing. It was so badass. She's so badass. So here's the weird thing, is that obviously we know the Yellowstone stays with the Duttons. Supposedly, Cordial Jack is the one to pass down. So that's why I think Spencer's going to die at some point in time. Because otherwise, be his line that also pass it down. Because he's, I guess, next in line. I don't know if you count it that way. So what's the point of having Spencer come all this way just to die? But then again, 1883 was similar. They went all that way just to die. What's the point? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we know the destination. Yellowstone stays in Dutton's hands. The journey, though, I don't know where they're going with this. I don't know where they're going with this. And did Emma dig a hole wide enough to lay beside John? And Tiona! Tiona! Not surprised. Not surprised. These people that run the school should not be surprised at all. So if she escapes, does she escape? She leaves the school, but does she escape? She can't go home. I don't know. So it's Yona. Yeah, stuff's happening. Stuff's happening. And I don't know where all the pieces will fall into play, except for Dutton's and Yellowstone remain tied together. I don't know. <laughs> Ta-da! There you go! Episode
episode four. We're at the halfway point. Lots more story to tell. So please do not be strangers. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. So you know when I drop the next episode. And until then, please take care of yourselves. If you haven't yet, stand. Try to touch your toes. Go get something to drink or eat. And then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.